So yeah, sorry my camera ran out of memory, but uh, first it died, then it ran out of memory. But it's okay. But yeah, here's the finishing product of what you're going to get. After you construct your jar, you make your petition and put all of your ingredients in it. What you're going to do is you're going to get your candle and whatever prosperity herbs you're going to use or wealth herbs or money herbs, whatever you're using it for. Mine's is for spiritual prosperity. So you're going to take your candle and you're going to dress it. I actually dressed mine with almond oil. And as you can see, because almond oil is um, not only for protection, but it's also for prosperity and luck, things like that. So I dressed my candle with almond oil. I put the herbs on the outside of the candle. And what you're going to do is you're going to light your candle every day, once a day, or two or three times a day, how many times you feel. But I do mine every day, once a day, for at least three days or for the entire waxing moon. That's how I've been manifesting with my candle spells. I've been lighting them every day that I can during the waxing moon. And once the waxing moon is complete or your candle has burned down, you're going to take the jar and deploy it, which is bury it in your front yard to bring things into your life that you want, or bury it in your backyard to keep it close. A universal spot for these things are the crossroads. But um, with prosperity work, I usually just bury it in the front or backyard. Alrighty then, so now you know. Or what you could also do is you could keep your jar spell and you could keep feeding it and keep feeding it and keep feeding it. I do that sometimes, but I end up deploying it anyway because I feel like it's not sealed and completed until you deploy the spell. Once you dispose or deploy the remains, that's when it's complete and that's when you're going to start manifesting. So, construct your jar, put your petition in there, dress your candle, put the oil in your candle, dress it with your herbs, light the candle, feed your spell, breathe life into your spell during the waxing moon. And once the waxing moon comes to the full moon, what you want to do is deploy your spell, which is burying it at the crossroads or leave it at the crossroads or you want to put it in your front yard or backyard. Once again, like I said, if you want to manifest quickly or more efficiently bury it in your front yard that's going to bring all the prosperity to you and invite it to your door <laughs> or you can bury it in your backyard bless you or you can bury it in your backyard so that you can keep it close and you'll always have it and you'll always have prosperity as long as the spell remains sealed and buried you're good to go so i hope you found this video educational and instructional and later on, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a petition. So have a witchy day and blessed be.